So I could still, I could say, okay, I'm going to create the invoice. Let's go ahead and create the invoice from the estimate. If I didn't make an estimate, then I could just make the invoice. And then I can go down here and say, all right, that's on 227 and so on. And it populated th this item. And then we already received the $100. So in the prior method, I would have had that outstanding credit or payment, which, which means I would have to save it and close it. And then the system would all automatically apply out the payment. Then I can open the invoice again and it should have been applied out here. That's not going to happen because I used a sales receipt. What I need to do then is recognize the fact that I did that. And then I can just add it to my invoice as, as what did I call it? Undeposited, Unde uh, no, I called it unearned. What did I call it? I know I called it customer customer deposit customer deposit that makes sense i couldn't remember that it makes perfect sense that's exactly what you should have called it so I'm, then i'm going to put a negative 100 and that's going to that's going to clear it out so what's this going to do then this this one of course is going to do the normal stuff driven by that item this one the item is going to unearned revenue so because i put a negative amount in here it's going to take the 100 dollars out of the unearned revenue and notice the invoice looks a little bit different in format as well, because the last method, once we completed the whole process, would have calculated the invoice calculation, and then it ended up with that little, that little note at the bottom uh, to show the credit that was applied. But here we've got the calculation up top. So we've got the $600 minus the $100, that gets us to uh, the $500. And then I got the 5% tax. Notice that the tax is only being applied to the taxable item, which isn't this deposit area, it's the $600. So it's gonna be the 5% in this case of the $600, which is the $30. And then that gives us our total of 530. So what's this gonna do when we record it? Well, it's an invoice. That means accounts receivable is gonna go up by the 530. The other side usually goes to a revenue account for the $500 driven by the items, but the items are a little bit different this time. The first one is an inventory item and it's gonna drive it to an income account. So the $600 should go to an income account, but this customer deposit, we set up this item specifically to be going to a liability account and it's a negative. So that means it's gonna be taking down that liability account. That's one of the major differences that we're going to see. The sales tax being calculated only on the inventory item will be increasing the payable, which is the sales tax payable account. Like normal inventory is also gonna be going down. This is the only one that has any inventory related to it. The customer deposit does not. That means the inventory account's gonna go down and cost of goods sold is gonna go up by that amount as well. Not for the $600, but for whatever is in there for the cost. And of course the inventory in terms of units is also gonna go down the sub ledger and the accounts receivable sub ledger for the uh, string music will be impacted as well. Let's save it, close it, check it out. Save it and close it.